Hi, I'm Thomas with RF Elements and welcome to another episode of Inside Wireless. Today, we'll continue with beam efficiency, focusing on practical examples. If you're not sure what beam efficiency is or why is it important, check our previous video by clicking the link in the corner or in the video description. But before we dive into the topic, make sure to like, comment and consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on any of the future episodes. Today, the computational power needed to calculate beam efficiency is available to virtually anyone, so there is no reason why antenna manufacturers should omit beam efficiency from their data sheets. Antenna side lobes can cause many problems in WISP networks because they collect the interference that decreases the SNR a radio is working with, resulting into decreased throughput. Therefore, the beam efficiency of WISP antennas should be as high as possible. Let's have a look at beam efficiency of antennas commonly used in WISP industry. Patch arrays commonly used for sectorial coverage have beam efficiency around 60% due to the strong and frequency-dependent side lobes that collect their interference. For point-to-point -point links, directional patch arrays and dishes have varying beam efficiency depending on the design and manufacture quality. A loose rule of thumb with dishes is that the bigger the size, the better the beam efficiency becomes, if carefully designed. For comparison, beam efficiency of symmetrical as well as asymmetrical horns is between 90 and 95% because of their optimized design with zero side lobes radiation pattern. Beam efficiency of ultra horn for point-to-point -point links or narrow sectors is 99%, which means that virtually all the output power of a radio is focused into a single beam. Lower gain of horns, WISPs might be often worried about, is outperformed by the increased SNR your radio is working with and the coverage stability important for exceptional customer experience. With UltraHorn, the staggering difference in beam efficiency compared to the directional patch arrays and dishes indicates where is the strength of the UltraHorn. It beams the energy at the output port of the radio into a single directional beam. Not all the horns are the same though, it takes considerable effort to design a horn so that it provides stable and zero side lobe radiation pattern, so be sure to inform yourself about the beam efficiency of an antenna you're considering buying. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on any of the future episodes, or check out some of our previous episodes for more interesting topics from the RF world.